Imagine. Hold on, bruh. Imagine. I don't really got much to say here. You already know what the situation is, bruh. For all the ones who don't know, your boy's a Saints fan. You feel me? This might be y'all first time on the channel. That's tough, bruh. It's the ending of it back there. I'm hoping this is not Breeze's last season. I heard them mention that during the actual, uh, like the last two minutes or something. They said somebody said that this would be, or they confirmed that he would be retiring after this year. Hopefully, just, just based off of how this game ended, I'm hoping he's going to say, all right, you know what, I I had a couple costly turnovers. You know what, let me go back for one more try, call it, and call it a day after that. You feel me? At the start of the season, hey, this is my last season. Let's do what we got to do, but that's tough, bro. That is too tough. I'm just mad because it's... I'm just sick, bro, because I'm like, my nigga, we had like the worst offensive game of the year in the most pivotal moment of the season. And I mentioned this in our last game. I said we have not played too well at home in our playoff games. You feel me? But Breeze, like, that's so tough, bro. Michael Thomas ain't have a catch all game. I think they said we only target him like four times, whole game. Kamara actually did pretty good uh, run-wise. But first starting it off when it was 2020, bro, we gave Tampa Bay the ball at their 20-yard line, like, for two or three of their scoring possessions, bro. I'm like, my nigga, like, we ain't even giving ourselves a chance at this point. We gonna shoot it, like, the first interception was, I think, he was trying to throw it to Thomas, but he threw it a little bit short, and old boy reached up, grabbed it, and he ran, like, 15, 20 yards. The second one, I think it was 2020. 20? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it was tied 20 to, to 20. Third down, we starting to get it rolling. Drew Brees hits Cook on a little slant route inside. He has it. He's holding it in his right hand. Oh, boy, comes through, hit it, fumble, turnover. And they run it like 20 yards. So both of those drives, they score on, and they start at their 20-yard line. Bro. It's like I'm mad because if they just beat us just straight, well, I ain't going to say they, they didn't beat us straight up, but if they beat us off of, you feel me, like, I don't even know how to explain it, bro. I feel like we were giving it away to them, you feel me? Like, not like they were necessarily just taking it. It was like we, we, we were giving them stuff, bro. You feel me? Like, it is what it is. That's part of the damn game, so, like, you just got to chalk it up to what it is. But that's tough, bro. Like, the off day offense didn't even have to do it. Like they had maybe one drive where they pushed it down the the uh, field, but they ended up kicking a field goal on that one. All of the drive they scored on, I think they started within they like twenty five to like thirty yard line. So y'all got thirty yards to to go, and it's a touchdown. You feel me? That's tough, man. Not for the, like, if, if we'd have played our best, like, our game and they beat us, okay, I'm perfectly fine with that. But the fact we got Thomas out there, he don't get no no catches. The Drew Brees got these uncostly, untimely, uncharacteristic turnovers, you feel me? Like, if we didn't have all that, bruh, I would have been perfectly fine with them beating us and we come out there and played our game, you feel me? If we play our game and y'all beat us. It is what it is. I can't say nothing about it, but we, bro, the way we lost was like, really, really, nigga, like that, like that's how we gonna lose. Not like, all right, this was a great ass game. Niggas battled at their best. Both of the defenses held it down, even though our our defense had a couple of possessions that we should have got stops on, especially on that last drive, bro, where it was like four minutes and some change left, and all we need to do is stop them on third. They hit a little wide receiver screen. Six, seven yards, first down. And we had used two of our timeouts already. That was the only big thing as far as our defense goes. But, bro, we gave it to them way too close, way too many times, bro. Like, they Tampa Bay offense ain't really had to do nothing. You feel me? And then on one of the interceptions where, where uh, Kamara was, he was just running straight down. Drew Brees, I guess, thought he was going to cut back. So he threw it, and the guy White, which I'll give it to him, bro. The guy White, they... The, the linebacker for Tampa Bay, he had a good-ass game, bro. 
That nigga was out there. Guy, he was he was doing his thing. I can't even lie, bro. But hey, as y'all know, like I said, I'm still doing my playoff prediction updates. I'll be doing that um, within like the next hour or so. So if it's already up, I'll drop a link up there for y'all. But like I said, bro, that's tough. I wanted my boys, Drew Brees, to just be able to go ahead and get, just get there and do his thing, bro. But we could not get it done today. It's tough, bro. But next week, AFC, you got the Chiefs versus uh, the Bills. NFC, Bucks versus the Packers. I know y'all gonna be in the comments going crazy too. It is what it is, bro. You feel me? Like this isn't happening. This is now the fourth season we've lost in the first or second round of the playoffs. <laughs> bro, I'm so sick, but they got like. I watched this game from front to back. I am so sick. Like, we had, especially on that Jerry Cook turnover. But I ain't even going to blame it on him because we had plenty of more possessions after that. But that was our time to shine right there. But I feel like we were getting in a row. All we had to do, keep on. And if we score, we up 27-20. Now they have to come down and score. You feel me? And I feel like we would have just had momentum at that point. But him fumbling kind of just switched the whole the whole thing up, even even though we ended up holding them to a field goal on that um, next possession, they got it right back and scored again, bro. That's tough. So, hey, y'all get down in the comments. What do y'all think? Do y'all think Drew Brees should retire? Let's go ahead and call it a like day, because I feel like if he comes back, he would be fully healed. Like, you got a whole off season, so you could be fully healed. Like, hey, man, I didn't play my best game for my last game out. You feel me? And we still have a good enough team to go on a little Super Bowl run. So let me come back for one more season. And let's see how I go from there. If I play bad in our last game or whatever the case is, all right, I call it a day after that. But the way it, like, ended and he didn't even get to really get his feet wet, like, for the whole season because of his injury. And even in this game, I feel like he looked more comfortable last week against Chicago than he did this week. You feel me? Because this week it was like, bro, if they were anywhere near him, he was just he was throwing that bit like, hey, I'm out of here. Cause I'm just throwing it out. You feel me? Like if they was even near, like if he felt that pressure coming at all, he was throwing that that thing was out of his hands. You feel me? But I wanted my boy to be able to get that Super Bowl this season and just call it quits. But that's tough, man. And even if Drew Brees does retire, who do y'all think is going to be our backup? I was talking to my brother because he a Colts fan. He talking about Deshaun Watson coming to Indianapolis. I'm like, hey, if Drew Brees is out of there, Deshaun Watson, you feel me? We got to move some pieces around to uh, fit that that uh, contract. But, uh, hey, we had to make some. If we get Deshaun Watson, I'm taking those. You feel me? But if Drew Brees comes back, obviously we wouldn't be taking uh, Watson. But that's tough, bro. That's tough, bro. We just got to take the L, call it a day. It is what it is. We didn't play our best game offensively. and we, I mean, we were doing our thing through the first half, but second half, it was like we could never really get it going. Like, we had a few, a couple of different, you feel me, like big plays here and there, but it wasn't enough, bro. That's tough, though. I'm just sick about the turnovers, man. Like I said, we played them straight up. Our our game, our best game versus their best game. I feel like we would have won this, bro, but we gave it up too many times. It's tough. But either way, man, that's just my thoughts on it. I don't want to do too much ranting to y'all. Like I said, y'all stay tuned for that um, NFC, AFC championship playoff update. It is what it is, bro. It is what it is. But, hey, man, we on the road to 15K subscribers. Hey, team, I appreciate all the love y'all been showing so far. Let's keep it going. Keep it growing. And like I always say, y'all keep coming back, tuning in. I'm going to keep these videos rolling out. We're going to keep getting a little over here. Catch y'all in the next video.